Hi and welcome. In this video we will examine Section F of the 2017 Annual Information Statement, which deals with reporting to state and territory regulators. This section is new to the 2017 form and it is important. It includes questions which have been designed to help the ACNC work with state and territory regulators to cut red tape and set in place streamlined reporting measures. One of the ACNC's objects is to promote the reduction of unnecessary regulatory obligations on the sector. And this section of the 2017 Annual Information Statement plays an important role in helping us achieve this. So, what we'll do is take a quick look at the questions contained in Section F and how you can go about responding to them. As you can see, Section F contains only two main questions, but depending on your responses, you may be asked to answer some further follow-on questions. The first question in the section, question 18a, will ask whether your charity is an incorporated association. This question refers only to charities incorporated with their state or territory and which report to a state or territory regulator, such as an Office of Fair Trading or a Consumer Protection Body. If your charity is incorporated in a state or territory of Australia, answer yes. Otherwise, select no. If you're unsure about these details, you can refer to your charity's governing document. And, as our help text suggests, more information on charity legal structures is available on the ACNC website. If you are an incorporated association and have therefore answered yes, further questions will be presented underneath question 18. As you can see, a list of states and territories has appeared. Firstly, select the state or territory or multiple states and territories in which you are incorporated. For this example, we will say that our charity is incorporated in the ACT. When you have made your selection, your screen will refresh and further questions will appear. The first of which is that you'll be asked to enter your charity's incorporated association number. Your charity's incorporated association number is a unique identifier issued to you by your state or territory regulator. For charities incorporated in some states and territories, this is the only extra question they will be asked. They'll then be directed to go to question 19. For other charities though, including our example on screen, you can see that further questions will appear. These questions might ask charities about the date of their annual general meeting or details about their membership requirements. Once you have responded to these questions, you can proceed to question 19, which asks you about your charity's fundraising. Again, if you do not intend to fundraise in the next reporting period, you can simply select no and move on to the next section. However, if you select yes, you may again be asked to answer further questions depending on which states or territories your charity intends to fundraise in during the 2018 reporting period. Again, using our ACT example, we're now being asked to enter the number of our fundraising license. It is important to note that your fundraising license could also be called a charitable collections license or a fundraising license number. So, if you hold a fundraising license, enter the number in the space provided. It is worth remembering that providing the ACNC with this type of information will help us work with your state or territory to make reporting easier and to cut down on any future duplication of reporting requirements between state and federal regulators. The 2017 Annual Information Statement Guide contains detailed guidance and support on all questions in the Annual Information Statement, including those in Section F. You can access it via the 2017 Annual Information Statement Hub at www acnc.gov.au forward slash 2017 AIS. And, as always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the Annual Information Statement, call us on 132262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.